all welcome to beginners biology today let's discuss about tumor antigens neoplastic cells contain antigenic substances these antigens are associated with them are subjected to trigger immune responses in the host tumor antigens are useful as tumor markers in identifying tumor cells with diagnostic tests and are potential targets for cancer therapy now let us see what are these tumor antigens tumor antigens are proteins glycoproteins or carbohydrates expressed by the tumor cells examples are alpha fetoproteins and carcino embryogenic antigen so let's see the mechanism of tumor antigenesis because of self tolerance our immune system does not react to the proteins that are present on the normal cells as they are identified already as self while in cancer the proteins present on the tumor triggers immune response because those proteins are not exposed before to immune system so the proteins present on the surface of cancer cells are presented by major histocompatibility molecules so the presentation of these peptides on major histocompatibility molecules leads to the activation of certain immune cells they are macrophages dendritic cells b cells and t cells these antigen proteins expressed by cancer cells may include proteins whose structure may be modified due to mutations or due to viral gene incorporation these proteins are normally expressed in small quantities there are also certain tumor antigens that are expressed at certain phase of tumor development or may be expressed in a particular tumor type now let's see the type of tumor antigens there are two major types of tumor antigens categorized based on their uniqueness they are tumor specific antigens and tumor associated antigens now let's see what are tumor specific antigens the tumor specific antigens are unique proteins that may result from dna mutations these dna mutations may be induced due to physical or chemical carcinogens the image on the left side shows the mutation generate a new peptide presented by mhc class 1 molecule this presentation of antigens by mhc class 1 may induce t cell response The next one is the tumor associated antigens. In contrast to tumor specific antigens, the tumor associated antigens are not unique to cancer. Instead, they represent normal cellular proteins displaying unique expression patterns. The image on the left side depicts the expression of embryonic proteins in the adult cells or overexpression of normal proteins presented by MHC class 1 molecule. hence ongoing research focus on this tumor and antigens to yield some significant clinical success thank you for watching the video if you like the video hit the like button and share it and subscribe to beginners biology